so today we're gonna replace the fuel injector okay so I'm gonna show you guys what you need you're gonna need to the e tank like this to take the boat so it's the bracket for the computer you have to unplug the computer just pull the tab out and pull up the computer push the computer on top go on the side you have to remove the bolts right here this is a titori you're gonna use to remove one two three the bolt so is this one three titori you're gonna remove all three one two three uh, and then you're gonna remove this bolt you're gonna remove one two three four because there's one here is the ground you're gonna remove and you're gonna remove another one here to hold all the cable and another one is right here and you can remove everything and then you're able to to lift it. all the wire the wires you're gonna lift a little bit so what I'm gonna do is just hang with something I'm gonna show you it starts with the video because the Sun is too bright so I'm gonna Use this one to give me space to, to work on. Can you hang it right here? So I'm gonna wait, able to work on. So now I still have to remove the boat. Okay, still have to move this bolt here. One, two, right here. One, two. Okay, remove this one and lift the the fuel jack line. And I'm able to take the fuel jack number three right here. So that's a one, two load aside and three so this way I'm gonna work on so I'm gonna disconnect the inject the line on this side here because it's a little bit tight I don't want to break the plug so, the other one is okay And one thing, be careful. Don't work the fuel line when the engine is hot. Let the engine be cold first. Because when you're gonna take the fuel line here, and you're gonna spray a little bit of gasoline. So, you might take chance the gasoline is gonna spray to the, to the manifold and it's hot and I don't want you, you need to get fired. So the best thing you do is just wait till the engine be cold so you're working. It is dangerous.
so this right here is the security for the fuel injector okay we're gonna do it just use the ply and twist it okay now it's ready pull back Then you just go and pop. So I'm gonna use a big plank to do that. I'm gonna use this tool and just go on the lead right here and lift. I'm gonna pull back because they come out. So that's where we're out, you see. Inject this out ready. See, that's what I'm talking about. Gasoline is going to spray. So the thing is that it's out ready. So now I'm going to get a new one and put on. So when you're gonna put the new one, just put a little grease degree, on the rubber, in this part here, in the top to put a little grease. So you're able to, to easily put it back on. Okay, it's the new one. Okay, now I'm gonna, down what I'm gonna do is just I put a little grease the grease and the both on 
the bottom and the top. So now I'm gonna put on. down push down the seat and that's all so now I have to put the clip back Now plug everything back on and that's okay, we're ready to go. Okay, now I put everything together, all the part. So now I'm going to raise the clothes and get started. So to raise the cloth, just turn the light. On the on position, don't start the car. Connect to the computer, the hookup. Copy scanning. I use the Fox uh, uh, tool MT650. So as you see, I'm gonna just show the code. Okay, just a mixed attack. Misfire attacks on the ceiling tree. So I'm gonna raise it. The way to do the, replace the fuel injector. Now clean the code. I'm gonna go back and clean. Raise the code. Okay. Oh, start. And all the lights go off. And as you see, the cord is no vibrant no more, no shaking. So they before they shake a lot. So right now they don't shake. Just for, for all the pipe back.
to the road. Alright. If you like the video, please subscribe so I can make more videos for you guys. And thank you for watching.